Section 3 action. The Highlands Golden Rams hosting the Greensburg Salem Lions along with the Dean Mike Choma. This is Mike Pavlik. Courtney's upstairs. She started a camera. I don't know about the boss, but uh, we're set here tonight for section action, Dean. It's an important game for both teams. And more important for whom? Well, Mike, you look at the standings, you'd have to say Greensburg because they're fighting for that fourth spot. But the reality is we're tied for first. We think, looking at the schedule ahead, they're going to make the playoffs regardless of Green Greensburg-Salem. So I think the game is more important for us tonight because, again, we're fighting for a section championship. We have to hold pace with Frank and Regional, and you always have to defend it at home. That is true. While the Lions come in here, one game ahead of fifth place Armstrong for that fourth and final playoff spot, trying to make the playoffs for the first time in three years. And uh, you had a chance, an interesting chance, to talk to Dante Parsons before the game. You remember from our last broadcast at Greensburg-Salem, Dante suffered a seizure, a grand mal seizure, had to be taken out by ambulance. Got to talk to him. I'm an epileptic. I got to tell him a little bit about my story. He's on medication now. That's the key. The good news, I told him, same thing with me. It's a lot worse seeing it than having it. And he's going to get his medication. Not ready to drive yesterday. I have a problem there. In the starting line tonight, Mike, says he feels great, ready to go. Uh, it's good. And hopefully, he'll have a good game for the Lions here this evening. Well, here we are. It's the last Tuesday in January and time for Mike Choma's State of the Rams address. Where are we now? Well, somebody else doing the City Union address tonight, too, I believe. But here's what I like to say. I'm going to appeal to all parties here. The seniors have done a great job. I mean, they've really taken over. They stood up. Now it's time for the sophomores to fill in. You know, again, end of the year, they've deferred. They've got the seniors involved. I look for a big last part of the season from Johnny and Luke. They, You know, they've done their job making sure the seniors got taken care of. Now they got to take care of it. Fill the team out. We've been taking the great shot instead of the good shot all year. That's been the key to success, playing great defense here at home. That's my state of the Rams. Interrupted once by applause. <laughs> all right, that'll wrap up the pregame show tonight. Tip-off is coming up. It's Highlands in Greensburg, Salem, and it's right after this. Welcome back. Time for the starting lineups tonight. First, the Lions, Dean. And, Mike, they're led by number one, Dante Parsons. We talked about him in the pregame, 5'11", sophomore. He's back in the lineup again. Great to see him out there. Number five, Jeff Mankins, coach's son, 6'2", sophomore. Number 10, Kevin Trott, 6'3", sophomore. Number 12, Ryan Thomas, 6'2", sophomore. That's right, Mike. Four sophomores in the starting lineup. That bodes well for them. And uh, and they will bring in their senior, double zero, Marvell McCowan, 6'2", senior. Mike come in averaging 24 points and, in the WPL. And became recently the 11th Greensburg-Salem line to score 1,000 points. How about that? Very impressive. And the Golden Rams come in today, 12-4, 6-1 in section, as we said, trying to hold pace with Franklin Reed. Regional. They will start number 10, Ryan Signorella, a six foot senior, averaging 8.6 per game. Number four, Christian Tonelli, a six uh, two senior, averaging 6.6 .6 per game. Luke Cochran with number 23, sophomore point guard, coming in averaging 11.5 per game. Number 20, Johnny Christ. Sophomore 6'7", well-rested. Where's number 20? Averages 10.3 per game. And number 12, the other big guy in the middle, Sean Ersig, senior 6'6", averages 12.7 per game. We say Johnny's well-rested because he didn't get to play on Sunday. Speaking of Greensburg, Salem, hi to Norman Nancy Mankins, who will be watching. And, and I also wanted That's to say, um, I was talking to some of the uh, the Greensburg radio, uh, television crew upstairs. They are students, Tyler Vandenberg. And Ryan Nalavanko, they are the Greensburg Sports Network on YouTube. So if you want to give them a check, you can do that. And uh, we can compare notes. They're both sophomores. But speak, there's a lot of sophomores that's going around with these with this group. So um, after you left, the kids said, "Who are those two old guys?" Yeah, I'm sure they. I'm sure <laughs> they did. But uh, I'll tell you what. I really wish there was something like that in high school when I was in high school. Because yeah. I'd, I'd have jumped at that. My thing was sitting at the pirate game with a tape recorder, and uh, it worked. I actually got to go on once. So that worked out for me. And I hope they last as long as we do. Yeah, I hope so. 
There's a tip and the Rams win it. Christ wins the tap. Back to Cochran. Rams dressed in the home whites. The Lions and the Browns. It's the Golden Rams against the Golden Lions. Cochran lets a three go. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound Ersic. Ersic spins in the paint. Puts up a right-hander. Up around. No good. Rebound Christ. Had it. Lost it. And it comes to McGowan. McGowan double zero. He's the main man for them. He scored 22 of the 35 points the first time these two teams met. Very quick. And there's Parsons. Oh, rolled out on him. Rebound Highlands. Tinelli gets the short straw on him. Mike, Mike, he'll be guarding McGowan. Oh, Christ got around Mackins. Nicely one. shot score foul. What a move by Johnny. And that's what you missed. Yep. You know, talking to uh, uh, Steve Meter before the game, it's like he said, you know, we lose by 20 Sunday. And Johnny probably doesn't make up to 20. But he frees things up for Ursa. Oh, definitely. And yep. they, they work hand in glove. We said Sean was petitioning to try to get him to be able to play. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. But there he gets a three-pointer, the traditional one. A little different press here tonight by Dave Johnny out at the point. Something a little different. Now you, they, they haven't had a lot of practice time. This is their fifth game in eight days, and they get a tie-up and a foul back in the corner as Greensburg-Salem set up the press. And they'll tell you that's how they like it. Let's play. We're done practicing. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's making second, Mike. Oh, boy, that's not good for his dad, the head coach. Gary Dixon, Vince Scape, and Eric Blair are your three officials here tonight. I almost said this afternoon. This almost said this afternoon. I got kind of conditioned. Uh, <laughs> Jalen Page checks in. Now they go deep to Signorelli over the shoulder. Boy, you can tell he's a wide receiver. They threw it off the line. It'll be Highlands ball at 7.07. Boy, he, he caught that without any trouble at all, and that was a difficult catch to make. We get a chance. We're going to talk about football. The schedule came out today. The schedule Speaking came out. Receivers. Yeah. We'll uh, got a few new uh, teams that we'll be facing, especially non-conference. Look at him armbar. Ersig. Price, Cochran right side. Back outside, Signorella with the new do. Back out to Cochran, three ball. Oh, is it different? In and out, Great yep. job by Tanelli to pull it out of there. Signorella back to Christ. Johnny Street's on the way. It's off the rim. Rebound, Ersig tipped it. And it's saved by Parsons. Here come the Lions. Highlands by three early on. Great place to trap right here, Mike. They did. There it was. Cochran yep. stole it. Out to Signorella. Now to Cochran. Underneath Tanelli. Nice back pass. to Christ with the lay in. It's Johnny five and Greensburg Salem nothing. You're right, he's well rested. There you go. Like I said, we haven't seen this press all there where they have Johnny out yeah, of the this point. This one's different. Yep. Here's Parsons for court. Dumps it off and Walk. the Clean. block shot for Trout. He can't get it to go. And here's Ersig with the save. Five-nothing Highlands with a basketball. Cochran swung it out to Tanelli. Boy, it's moving quickly. Signorella for three. It's a dipper. Both threes they've shot. Went halfway yeah, down and yeah. came out. The Rams have been ice cold from out there the last few games. Here's Parsons. Notice they switch on every screen, Mike. So even though you might get McGowan to start, doesn't mean you're going to keep him, as you can see right here. And here's McGowan with Tonelli on him. Drives in. He traveled. Nope. Double dribble. One or the other. You pick it. If you watch, Mike, McGowan was watched by three different guys in that play just because they were switching off the high screens. Well, he is amazing. He scored. Here's the thing. He scored 23 and 22 against us, the games out there. But the game here last year, he only scored six. And we're bearing the lead, of course. The Rams have won 10 in a row here on their home court. And 24 of their last 28. Cochran's three is off. Rebound is tipped, and Signorella wants it and gets it. Back out to Kreis. 7-0 this year. Signorella up and under a move, and it goes down. His first two, and it's 7-0. How does he average 70 points at home, giving up 50? They get it to Trout. Yeah, Trout lost it out of bounds. Out of bounds. Again, yeah. the pressure defense. And I, and you can see that the the way they pressure the ball is especially more effective on this smaller court that they play on here. And we talk about starting four sophomores. Mike, that takes its toll early. Here's Cochran again. They have a one-game lead on Armstrong for that last playoff spot. They've split the two meetings. So if they end up tied, they'll both go. Now, Gateway can clinch tonight. And then three will be in. Armstrong's at Gateway tonight, and Franklin Ridge West Kiskey, Mike. And Kiskey won last night, Dean, 68-54 over Blairsville. Congratulations to them. Nobody needs a donut. Yeah. 
to Nelly left side. Now to Christ. Drives all the way in. Kicked it back out to Cochran. Tries to get around the man. Worked it back out as Jalen Price is in the game. Here's a three by that Cochran. Good, it's off the rim. Rebound Ersig. What's the call? They're gonna call they're gonna call Sean, I believe. Yep, that's who it is. His first. First one against, one against Islands. Exactly. Romello Freeman, the best six man in the business. Back to that role. And Jack Oberdorf, the three-point specialist, is in there for Greensburg Salem, the senior. Jalen Price is 13. He's also checked in for Craig Mankins. The head golf pro at Hanniston. That's his day job. That's a cool day job, yes. isn't it, Danny? <laughs> he was telling the referees his, their crew comes over and plays over there, so that's good to hear. Here's McGowan. Very nice pro shot they have there, too, by the way. I've never been. i got to get down here. I've so. played there a few times. I have, some, I have some information on it. We'll make it to it later. We have time. Here's Parsons. It's right by Greensburg Sam Heights. Right, right next door. The properties, that? I believe, touch. Johnny Block. That Johnny shot. with a save. Johnny with a dribble Behind throw. Back. How about Over to that? Cochran. Cochran all the way. Hips it to the corner. Here's Signorella. Out top to Nelly. Oh. They call a travel. He stepped into a three, literally. Yep. <laughs> Seven nothing Highlands at 344. First Highlands turnover. They were already forced four here in the quarter. So the Lions able to get it in. Caven Trout, 10 in that starting lineup tonight. As the Dean said, they start four sophomores now. They started um, Ryland Christ, number 15, a senior in the game at Greensburg a few weeks ago. He's out of lineup. Like, I don't know if he's here this evening. Again, unfortunately, a lot of kids have been he's sick. He's a senior. Yeah, yeah, you know, that hurts. Not going around. We're still, we're still trying to recuperate Chandler up. 1-3-1, <laughs> one, one, Mike. Freeman, Cochran, Signorella left side. Three ball up, in and out, no good. Rams still ice cold from outside. Rebound Lions. Here's McGowan. Takes Cochran to the hoop and lays it in. The thing we said about McGowan, he is a scorer. He will find his points. Yep. And Seven to two. A quick guy, too. Price goes in against Oberdorf, a pair of 20s. Signorella going to try it again, there and this one's down. Time. He's got five. So does Christ, and it's 10 2 Highlands. Like that time you saw McGowan was equal to Luke, and he knew that at that point he had him beat to the basket. Here's where you get your trap. There, oh, 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 that's oh, over. Back, back court. Oh, the Rams, but there was no possession backcourt. The Rams got it. Works out. Then they throw it away. <laughs> Tosh saying relax. Yeah. These guys play about a million miles an hour. That's part of the, part of the charm. Mm -hmm. And you can see Mike... Uh, that trap at half court has been very effective. Here it goes again. Yeah, there's yep. a depth turnover as Trout traveled. Again, the sophomore thing we were talking about. 10 to 2 Highlands early on. Rams trying to get back on the winning track after that game on Sunday. A very impressive uh, Alder Dice team. Boy, they're well schooled, you can tell. And they, said that they, don't, they don't do anything to make your eyes pop out. But Who's that kid, 42? Had 29. Yeah, Clifford. Clifford. I almost called him Kyle Clifford again. I saw him in the summertime. I, I couldn't pick him out of a lineup. Always Christ a is fouled. Christ found his way in there. And will go to the line and shoot two. You know, I, yes, I do see Glenn because I saw Rose Mills here. Yes, Rose. So you figure Glenn couldn't be too far behind. Right, and right over there with good him. folks at B&J Sports, located at 1605 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights, has been outfitting our local sports teams and the great fans of the AK Valley for more than five decades. Mike. When it comes to all your sporting goods needs, look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch. They have high school jackets, team uniforms, trophies, any kind of sports equipment. You just can't beat the service at B&J Sports. They're open 9 to 5 weekdays and Saturdays, 9 to noon. You can call them at 724-226-2762. Five decades says it all. B&J Sports. I struck out. Johnny goes over two during your... Oh, McGowan has it blocked by Johnny. Now McGowan stole it back and dribbled it out of bounds. We had a streak going there with you reading, Mike. And we've gotten up, we're up to 58% as a team. Um, Johnny came in at 57, so he pretty much mirrors the squad. Here comes some pressure from Greensburg. Let's see how Ian handles it. And Cochran, able, uh, with help from Signorella, gets it through. Romello blows up the baseline. Myers out of the corner. Down. Corey Myers loves these guys. He hit four against them out there. And that's what he's there for, Mike. They went 1-3-1. One, one. You see Corey Myers come into the game. 13-2 Highlands. Timeout, timeout, timeout. 
Craig Mankins went to timeout. He knew there was a 10-second call coming up. And he also knew his guy picked up his dribble, Mike. So good timeout by him. Another problem. <laughs> yep. Gives us a chance to talk about another season of Golden Rams basketball. Can mean only one thing. Post game at the Anchor Inn. Danny Cocker asked we were going. I said, we have to see. It's a school night, but we'll might try to make it. School night for me, by the way. Joe, That's right. You're back, you're back, yeah. back, back to work. Continue family tradition started way back in 53. Again, try the Anchor Burger, my favorite. Mike loves the wings, full wings, not pieces. Make sure to ask about that blue plate special daily. Always served on a blue plate. No reservation or needed. Kitchen's open to 11, so you can go right after the game. We'll be there at the Anchor Inn. Come up and say hello. That's the Anchor Inn, Freeport Road, and the Trent Heights. Welcome aboard. Friday night, senior night, we'll definitely be there. Yeah, it'll now. be a big crowd there Friday night. Can you believe that? This is our last home game coming yeah, up boy, on Friday. And then fast. we're going to be all over the place mm-hmm. to finish up the season. We'll play, I believe, five in a row. Away. Four. Five. It is five. Yeah. Coming to Lincoln Park. Now Thomas had it court. He got it to McGowan now. McGowan has the only two points. He stops and pops. Offensive and foul. He yeah, turns it over wing. with an offensive yeah. foul. Yes, sir. And that's McGowan's first. Of course, always thanks to the good folks at Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall where they have individualized training. Third graders all the way up to varsity. I saw Micah there late Saturday afternoon, so business must be good. Ooh. Rams turn it over. Email Mason Elite Hoops at Comcast.net. Beat them all down. Can't get it to go. Head Parsons. The pack. Here comes Freeman. We had Johnny. Head Myers the pack. tried to make the save, but yeah. couldn't do it. They have different pages together, Romello and Corey that time, and that's a Highlands turnover. They lead it 13 to 2. Four turnovers. Play Friday at home here, senior night, as you mentioned. Saturday, we're at Seton Hill. Seton Hill, we're playing in Hemfield. Rumor is 3.30. I did not confirm that rumor. I was too busy running around. How about you? Any luck? I uh, I did not confirm anything. I got a, uh, a tweet from Bill Beckner that said it was 2 o'clock. Okay, we'll confirm it. So time. we're going to find out when that is and let you folks know. I'm, I'm, in, I'm endeavoring to get in touch with the organizers. Not McGowan all the yet. way, shot score foul. Same deal, McGowan had Johnny on his hip, and he knew he could take him to the hoop. He didn't score. Johnny's first. McGowan has four. 13 to four now. And Marvell McGowan, the fine senior, will go to the line, six foot one. Well, we got a tease to have him tune into the second half now to get the time for Saturday. Short. Rebound, Christ. Now we had to. Today was one of those. If you knew everything it took to get these games on the air next. Nice Signorella for John. three off the back rim. Tipped around. It's on the floor. They battle for it. Lions are down there. Guess who gets that? Sick. Jump ball. Job, Signorella down there with Ryan Thomas. Highlands possession. Come back. It's Greensburg's possession. You're right. Sorry. You used to see the arrow the other the way. The arrow's back. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. We, won a couple game, we won a couple games without one. That makes it really hard. <laughs> they didn't, but they were smart. The, the guys, they said, they're, they're no table better than ours when it comes to that. They got it up, They put the arrow up on the scoreboard. You couldn't see it at the table. That was during the tournament at Christmas time. Oh, nice beautiful pass, pass underneath. And Parsons has the lay in. First two for Dante tonight, and all of a sudden it's 13-6. That was bingo, bango, bongo. Mike Ball never touched the floor. Nice press breaker that time. Cochran loops it to the corner. Myers, they close off on him quickly. Timmons underneath. Timmons back up with a left hand. Missed it. Rebound. Oh, Romello couldn't get a good solid grip on him. Good job by Cochran, Cochran Mike. Yeah, he doesn't get that pass. It's a layup. Knocked it into a fullback over there. <laughs> I see a Gillette. Jack Oberdorf checks in again. And you got to watch him yeah, because he can, he can fire him from the outside. He's our Corey Myers. Yeah, that's pretty much what he does. And he'll do it at any time, too. Here's McGowan. Got a man in the air and let it fly at the, nearly at the buzzer. Missed it. Romello a little bit of time. Good if it goes. It's too high. And that's the end of the first quarter with a score. Highlands 13 and Greensburg Salem 6. On well, the wireless zone is the largest independent Verizon wireless franchise in America, offering the most popular smartphones, devices, tablets, and accessories with award-winning customer service to stop in today and see what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Wireless zone has 12 area locations, including six in the AK Valley. Wireless zone location for Natrona Heights at the Walmart Plaza. 
or at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall next to J.C. Penney's and across from Victoria's Secret. You can reach the Heights location at 724-224-4590 or the Mills at 724-275-1154. Every time I go past the one at the Mills, it is, it's, it's busy. It's buzzing with people, so make sure you stop in there. Find the Wireless Zone store nearest you by visiting wirelesszone.com. Mike, the bingo was a big success. Oh, good. I actually heard there was tailgating before the bingo. Can you, that? you know, that's a great thing. In Pittsburgh, we tailgate before midnight mass. <laughs> Paula Saul, though, says her two friends she brought both won bingos, and both won door prizes. Paula Saul, biggest loser. She still has that same one. <laughs> her mom didn't used to be that way, I could tell you that. Mitz. Mitz, could, Mitz was the bingo queen. Tanili out of the corner, three ball, nothing but nylon. And we had 200 some people with the bingo, and we didn't advertise a lot. And the reason why I was told people around here could smell a bingo. That's true. <laughs> I've always enjoyed it. I can't ever win. I played at the Elks, so we used to back in the after game. Yeah, we were going for the grand prize, and they wouldn't let us in because <laughs> people were playing all night. We yeah, play and they were mad. Yeah, you, you couldn't. You, you get to pick the right seat, or they throw you out of the joint. Signorella picks up the foul. Christian McGowan quickly in and back out. Corey Dodson was calling bingo. He was accused of going too fast. Well, that's true. Yeah. Because nobody plays one card. The confirmed bingo players play more than one card. They play like 70 cards. I, I couldn't keep track of it. When I coached the St. Joe's and Braddock with Disney, the Catholic bingo, they're the worst. The lady would say, give me a new card. I bring them over. She goes, did you touch them? I said, how do you think, <laughs> I think they got, I got it here? <laughs> I levitated. Bryce baseline. Now over left side with a nice short Ursa. little baseline jumper by Thomas. No good. And here's Ursa. Numbers. Tanelli now. Billy takes it to the corner and fires it back out to Signorella. He's got great hands. Now Cochran reset things. Seven minutes left, first half. Highland 16, Greensburg Salem 6. In a little bit of a matchup this time, Mike, but again, I don't like our tempo tonight. Even though we got a 10 point lead, just it's three games in a row I haven't liked it. Tanelli out of the corner. His three is down. He's two for two from out there, and it's 19-6. And that's four for Highlands tonight, and that's more like it. Two for Christian tonight. He's at his average. McGowan stepped on the line, turns it over. He's almost getting double teamed every time he touches it, Mike, especially up at the half-court line. We do like it here at home. We average 70 at home. We average 62 on the road. That's not too no. not too much of a disparity, really, if you think about it. And we give up 50 at home, 55 on the road. Here's Tanelli. Now to Kreis. The handoff to Signorella with a fake. Price right elbow. Look nice. for a cutter. Yeah. He got it into Ersig. Ersig down there against two men. That means somebody's open. It's Cochran. In and out. Rebound tipped out of there and controlled by Trout. Nice job by Sig. Almost got the steal there. Here's McGowan. Look out. Weaves through traffic all the way in. Back outside to Trout, but didn't take the shot. This is Price. Oberdorf. He'll be a great point guard at the next level, Mike. Just how he moves the ball. Oh, he's so quick. Yeah. He's going to stop and pop from three off the back rim. No good. Rebound Johnny Christ. Rams with the ball in a 13-point lead. Price got into a double team, but got it to Cochran. Right down the lane. Up around. No good. Got his own rebound. Put it Ball back away. up. Falling away. Hammered. Down he went. It won't go. Rebound Lions. Mike, we got to take advantage of Sean Ersage in there sidewise, too. John hasn't scored yet. No, and he had 16 the first time these two teams met. He was Highland's leading scorer. Trout all the way in, swung it over to Oberdorf. Now to McGowan left side. Surprised Oberdorf didn't look for that shot, Mike. Yeah, so am I. Here's McGowan all the way through. Around nice Ersic lays it up and in. What a move that was. He's got six of the eight, and it's 19-8 Rams. One thing I like about the kid, he knows what he can do. He got Ersic hung up to dry, and he just knew he could take it in there. Cochran long three's on the way. It's off the back rim. Rebound Price. John, it tipped it to there. Ersic, and he put it in. That's some assist. Yeah. There's Ersic. You were calling for that. A little volleyball action there, Mike. 21-8. to eight. Highlands by 13. There's Trout. Now to Thomas. Hey, and back out three. to McGowan. River three. We mentioned McGowan at 22 in the first game. The next highest scorer was Rylan Christ, who's not playing tonight. He only had seven. Yep. 
The next highest scorer who's out there is Parsons, who had four, and remember, he didn't play the whole game. Next time he gets the ball, too, Mike, for the young kids, look what he does. He does something called a back dribble. Oberdorf all the way to the basket, up around, no good, rebound to Nelly. And what he's doing, just creating space so he can drive. Nice oh, it's off the hands of Krause. Kreis and out of bounds. Turnover Highlands at 4.04. 21-8, the Rams lead it. Highlands now commits five turnovers here. Wholesale substitution. Good luck, Mr. Play-by-Play. -play. Oh, we'll wait till they touch the ball. That makes it easier that way. Now, the kids upstairs rotate quarters. Is that how they're doing it? That's what Bob and Joe used to do. I've always deferred to you. Well, I, well, was, my, the first question was, I say, how are we going to do this? You said, you, you said, you're doing play by play. I said, okay, thanks. <laughs> we have our rules. I try to explain it to my wife. Steal by Ursig. Ursig up to Christ. Oh. Won't go down. Yeah, and we got to be careful. Point, there yeah. were three bodies under him that time, yeah. though. If they're going to keep calling him, I suggest he just comes down and starts crowd crushing people on the way down. It's like, hey, keep no, blow by. Parsons. A little dribble drive, and Highlands wants a timeout. Dante's got four, and it's 21 to 10. Definitely a defensive mistake that time, Mike. And, it, looked, uh, it, was yeah. it was defensive indifference. <laughs> yeah, I think Romello got changed up in a switch. He didn't change. Planet Fitness, speaking of changing, you can change in the Toronto Heights into your gym outfit in the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness provides a unique environment where everybody, and we mean everybody, is free to work out. Speaking of everybody, guess who the celebrity was today up there? Who's that? Tom Stabil. Tom Stabil working out at the Planet Fitness today. In the Haas, open and staff 24-7, friendly staff to help meet your fitness goals. If you're a first-time gym member, no problems, they'll take care of you. As we mentioned, unlimited fitness, and 16-year-olds, you can join, have your own membership. Team 13 through 15 can join if they're accompanied by an 18-year-old or over. Memberships are available now as low as $10 a month. Stop in at Planet Fitness, ask for Rick in the Heights Plaza for details today. Courtney, I know you're a Penguin fan. The Penguins are leading one nothing after one. I think she already knows that, doesn't she? You yeah. guys got she's, those phones. Or, she's right on top of that, yeah. And iPads. Thank Brian you Russ, the Penguins goal scorer tonight. Oh, Rams turn it over out of the timeout. Yeah. Sloppy again. Here's McGowan and oh, Johnny oh, oh, oh. fouling him. They want <laughs> Craig Mankins wants a little continuation. I don't think he's going to get it, though. Johnny was riding him all the way yeah. down. That's Picked his second up his five. second, yep. Both on McGowan. Out to the left. Now they go in deep. New man in the game. That's Deshaun Davidson. We haven't seen him yet. Tries to hook it inside, and it's stolen. Great shot by Tanelli to get a hand on it and get it over to Ursa. Got the spectacles on. Yeah. I don't think Christ is here tonight, Mike. He started from last game. Because it had been in by now. Right. Rams turn it over again. Awful sloppy. Now Cochran's coming back in. 7-7 seven, seven. turnover. Rams lead 21 to 10, but this is nearly two and a half games of a malaise, I would say. A, a Greensburg, uh, a uh, Franklin Regional hangover lasting eight days. Mike, I saw a great Showtime special yesterday. Flipped around on the dial. Indiana coach Bob Knight. It's called Perfect in 76. They were they were undefeated. They're the last ones. Here's his quote. Kent Benson. Victory favors a team that makes the fewest mistakes. Yes, sir. And that is so true here. That is so true. Well, Joe Lucchino and his son Joseph. Proudly welcome you to the Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group. They've been serving the AK Valley for decades. They're a broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you or your business. Each year brings many changing pieces to the healthcare industry, so it's vital you understand your options. Sit down with Joe and Joe. They always know. Located at 2318 Freeport Road next to Donut Connection. Or call them at 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Joe Jr., of course, coached a lot of these guys. Why yep. wait? Yep. Let Lucchino Insurance and Financial Services put you on the road to financial stability today. If you don't already know, don't check your stocks and look back tomorrow. <laughs> Bad day in the market. Yeah. Huh? Now driving all the way in was Parsons. He can't get it to go, and Ursig has the rebound. Those Johnson. are called corrections, Mike. Sean's having a big night on the board tonight. How about Donovan Russell for Burl? A triple, yeah, triple I, double. Gonna congratulate them, Mike. They're now tied for first place. Eight and ten. 
all the way to the basket, Cochran. Yeah, Sean Bennis is making a living out of making the playoffs with a losing record because <laughs> he plays such yeah. hard teams. He's 5-2 and two in section. They knocked off Shady's yep. Academy yesterday. They're tied for the top spot with East Allegheny, and they've split, so they're in the same position we are. Oh, Parsons missed it, and Freeman got the rebound. Rams by 13. Saw that flash from Ellie going from that bottom a little bit. All the uh, way, and that's a charge. No, it's not block. either. They're going to call the block. I'll be honest with you, Mike. I didn't see the guy there, so that leads me to believe it he was slid a block. in. Yeah. Yep. You're like, here's the thing. You're allowed to be moving. You can be moving backwards, but you can't be sliding over. And that and that's the interesting Sunday. What'd you think of the uh, what you think of the restricted area in the uh, that was painted on the uh, floor? At the, it's interesting because, like you said, it doesn't really matter not in here, high school. No. But it, you know, it, is it a guideline that the refs can use and make it more a more uniform thing? And I just that's wonder. That's a question we have to ask the referee. That's for sure. Yeah. That Donald from Russell triple double, Mike. Ten points, fifteen rebounds, ten blocks. He was big here. He was one of yeah, part of the all tournament like team him, here yeah, at Christmas yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. And Mike, he had been injured. That's why he hadn't played much. He's and, a big uh, fella. Yeah, he's going to help come down the stretch. Freeman 60% makes one out of two. And even all this that's going on, the Rams still have their biggest lead at 24 to 10. This game is a lot like the one out there. Parsons for three off the front rim. Rebound six. So they have two local teams tied for first in their section, huh? Signorella all the while. What a move. Oh, oh follow jam. Oh, jeez. Did you Ramel, see that? Mike? Oh, my. That was incredible. He landed on the kid's head. Yikes. And a turnover, a travel. You talk about posterized, Mike. Holy kaboli. I want to go see that at half. I hope somebody's here with a camera to have a picture of that. Yikes, I've never seen anything like that. Landed on I know I can jump that high. I don't know about you. I, it's like a typical thing, thing I do all the time. It, he did the same thing the other day against Armstrong. He does it in traffic. You know, that's not. It's one thing to get uh, three steps in, but wow. It's all those box jumps. <laughs> and Kiski, remember he did it for almost the oh, final yeah. line? 26 to 10. Do it again, he says. Freeman's foul. He goes to lay it in. He'll head to the foul line at 144. Wow, you're talking about bringing the crowd alive, Mike. That was uh, stunning. Well, it was a little slippy out there today, as we like to say in western Pennsylvania. Slippy. So why not stop into Highland Tire, or their newest location, Highland Integrity Alignment, and see why they've been voted the best place to buy tires in the AK Valley for 25 straight years. You get a little bit more tread out there you needed today. Crews did a pretty good job, got everybody going with some delays, but everything was all right. Family owned and operated since 1961. Highland Tire offers one of the most complete inventories of tires in the Pittsburgh area. Visit HighlandTire.com or give them a call and try them at 724-224-9222. In Daytona Heights at 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment at 724-224-5900. Highland Tire, service, integrity, price, we deliver. Two for two, Romello. I'm back on track. You're back in a good grace. Number two, Mike, in a lot of it's Christian McCowan. That is Marvel's younger brother, sure. only a freshman. Well, Corey Myers is going to get hit with the foul. Whistle check. by yep. Gary Dixon. By the way, these guys are very good referees, aren't they? Yeah, you hardly knew they were here. That's, That's always a good sign. It's the same thing as a good waiter. Yep. They never knew they were there. 28 to 10 somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, I said, it was very similar to the one out there. McGowan all the way to, my goodness. He just got a nose for that basket. He's got eight. Well, let's see, Mike. He has four hoops. One on Luke, one on Johnny, one on Romello. Myers, three ball, front rim. There's nobody there except for Oberdorf. You pick. Take your choice. This time, Tonelli went right through him. McGowan scores and draws the foul. Uh, I didn't know about that one, Mike. Nope, they called it offensive. Yep. Yeah, and that's what I didn't know about. I thought Hersey might have slid a little bit. But yeah. like you said, you can move, and that's what you're allowed to do right it's, now. It's the sliding yeah. part that's where you're coming from side to side. That's the problem. But Cowan gets his second at one minute to go here in the first half. 28 to 12. Highlands led 35-13 at halftime out there. Freeman. Into our save. layup score. Four points for Big Sean, and it's 30 to 12. When you talk about guys who know what they can do on the basketball court, Sean gets you on the hip there. He knows exactly what yep. to do. Trout, center circle. Over to the corner. That's Mankins for three. It's down. Jeffrey Mankins' first basket. It's a three. Only three Lions have scored. Ooh, Ersig charges. Now, that's an interesting charge there, Mike. Yeah, it was. I've never seen one where they both went up, and there's a charge in midair. 
33 seconds left. Greensburg Salem has the arrow, and they have the basketball down by 15. That's why I keep showing up every night. Like we see some different Something different, this year, exactly. Sunday we saw a ball lay on the rim. So here's Christian McGowan, backcourt, plays catch with his brother. 25 seconds. McGowan goes all the way. Oh, it deflected off a ram, and a ram steal it. Here's Myers, over to Cochran. Plenty of time, 17 seconds. Wide open, Timmons, blocked by Christian McGowan from behind. Here's Mankins now, over to McGowan with 10 seconds. Goes to Oberdorf, here it comes, it's good. That's what he does. Told you about Oberdorf. McGowan's hurt. Mike. Two seconds, Rams got to hurry, they throw it away at nine tenths. 30 to 18. So Greensburg-Salem scores the last six here in the first half. Hope it's a cramp, McGowan's grabbing his knee there, Mike. Now the good news is that it's nearly halftime, so yeah. Get it into Christian McGowan. He'll dribble it out, and that'll take care of the first half here at Islands with the score. The Highlands Golden Rams 30, and the Greensburg Salem Lions 18. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with stats and more right after this. Yeah. All right, we're back at halftime. The Rams leading at 30 to 18. Um, kind of a kind of an on and off first half there. Uh, Highlands, choppy, choppy. Yeah, yeah they uh, get a lead, stretch it out a little bit. They got it to 11 at one point, then to 14, then to 18, and then Greensburg Salem scored the last six before the half went out. Scoring for Highlands, Romello Freeman has five. Watch that monster dunk again. Chris Anelli has two threes for six. Johnny Cray scored the first five. Luke Cochran has a basket. Sean Ersage has two. Ryan Signorella has five points total. Corey Myers came in and hit a three. Important score for you, Mike. The seventh grade boys won the championship at Norwin. Five games they had to play to do it. They went 47-26. They beat a McKee sport team. So again, Mike, uh, the guys down under today, since seventh grade was playing, they didn't have practice. So we had our eighth grade practice, and we invited the sixth graders up for a little indoctrination. And I like what I saw. I think we had some sixth grade players. And the nice thing about them was they listened. That, you know, we love that. I always, you know, I'm trying, trying to run drills down there. I always tell the guys, I love to teach new drills. I hate to take the time to do it when you don't listen. They jumped right in and uh, did a good job, so looking forward to them in the Excellent. future. All right. The stats brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. On Twitter, at Mason Elite Hoops. Jimmy Quince, Mike, and Atlanta Signorella. Ah, yes. If you notice, Nate's not here tonight. He had a double duty. He had a run down in Norway. He might get here for the second half. <laughs> Norman, isn't that where we played our playoff game last year? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice gym. Yep. First time I'd ever been there. I like to forget everything else that happened. <laughs> Don't ever say Laurel Highlands to me. That's all I got. Oh, no, no. So here are the Lions. They move left to right in the traveling brown uniforms with the gold and white trim. Rams in the home whites. Second half underway. Highlands by 12. Mike Yolworth, too, Mike's a nice seventh grade player down there. Now Page got it over to McGowan. It's Page, McGowan, Parsons, Trout, and Mankins. That's the five for Greensburg Salem. We'll set the Rams when uh, they get the ball. Here's Caven Trout, shut off at the foul line. Hit up in the air and saved for a moment. And boy, look at that hustle by Tonelli. It was tipped by Ersig. Christian saved it. Rams have the ball up 12. It's Cochran, Tonelli, Kreis, Ersig, and Signorella. Stolen by McGowan. It oh, went in and out. They're going to call it goaltend. Yeah. And Mike, did he interfere with that shot? I don't know. But the ball definitely hit the backboard. Did that interfere? And the ball was halfway yeah. down. I, I think that's a good call. Yeah. I do, too. Um, you're allowed to hit the backboard, but you're not allowed to affect the shot. 30 to 20 now. 8-0 run for the Lions. Signorella out top to Cochran at the Rams. Signorella thought about it. Went to go to Ursic, but they shut there him off. You go. Now Ursic goes That's baseline, got three, reverse, and scores. Let's forget about the east and west, Mike. Let's go north and south against this one. You got those two big guys, double post, and let's see what happens. Huh? 12-point lead for the Rams. This is Parsons. Out top to McGowan. Now Mankins left side. That's old-school basketball, Mike. Twin towers. 
Yeah, Samson and uh, Elijah on back with the uh, old Houston Rockets. And nobody does anymore. The pros, oh, oh Parsons oh, wow. got bodied up, and it's loose. And Tonelli Looking with a dive floor, can't dive. get it, but Trout has it for Greensburg Salem. He leads the team in the floor burns. No question. Now they go back to McGowan. Left-handers on the way. It's off the rim. Rebound, Christ able to snatch it out of the air. But Boogie Cousins and Anthony Davis said for New Orleans Falcons, they said you can't have two big guys at the same time. Signorella's three is no good. Ursic tipped it. Tonelli had it, lost it. Nice to job Signorella. by Signorella. He's hammered. Foul there. He'll shoot two at 5.56 with the Rams leading it by 12. The Boogie no. Cousins got hurt, didn't he? Yeah, so yeah, they saw that problem. He got hurt for the year. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, that's difficult. It's all it's all dribble drive three pointers in uh, in in the pros in college now. Yeah, they already did a good job the other day. They they ran that Princeton offense, which basically is dribble drive. Signorella puts the first off the top front rim, 57% for him. He scored five all in the first quarter. Islands was led by as many as 18. They lead by 12 now. Allen's won the first meeting 62-35 at Greensburg back on January 9th. In that game, Ursa got 16 and Signorella had 15. We talked about Myers with the 12, all three pointers. Here comes the 1 2 2 press. There's Parsons. Kicked it over to the corner. Now back to McGowan. Puts it on the floor. Left Signorella there and scored. 12 points for Marvell McGowan. He's got 12 of the 22. I agree 100%, Mike. That gives us a pure score. Yep. Uh -oh. Off of Versick, out of bounds. Turnover Highlands at 532. And now Christian McGowan back in. Turnovers are 10-10, Mike. Greensburg, if you remember, Mike, they won their first five games. They beat Ligonier, Derry, Blairsville, Mont Pleasant, Lower Highlands. And they're 10-6. and six. Yeah. Rankins, three ball from the corners, high off the rim. Signorella got it to Christ. Rams with a two-on-two, two, don't have numbers. Johnny now fires it to the corner to Tonelli. Back out top, Signorella. Had success with this last time. Unable to get it to go here. And now they're going to get Tonelli hitting Ryan Thomas. I'd like to see Urch just touch the ball a little bit more, Mike. He has such a side of height advantage and uh, not getting on the ball. Work, maybe working inside out yeah. a little bit. Yeah. 11 point lead for the Rams. That fouls the first on Tonelli. They're even one apiece, second half. I do like this press. Though. Here's the McGowan brothers backcourt with it. Now they get it to Parsons. Parsons, nice move. Goes in and scores. Parsons has six, and it's 33-24, a nine-point Highlands lead. Coach Mankin sees something. He wants to make sure it's covered up, and that is Ursage. Look at his height advantage, Mike. Ursage on Young McGowan. Yeah, Christian only uh, spot 11 down there. Look at that. There's Ursic, and they did work it inside out. It's tipped out of bounds, and Highlands will keep it. But Sean's going to just turn around and take him to the basket. Romello Freeman into the Highlands yeah. lineup. All of his points came in the second quarter. And I think he's basically saying if Sean doesn't do it, he can come over here. <laughs> he's not going to look for that shot, Mike. Right now, we got to take advantage. There oh, work you about go. beautifully to Price. Oh, and it goes out. Boy, they did everything right except score. Here's McGowan. I think that's part of what's making things choppy, too, Mike. We had about four or five balls in and out. Oh, now? Nope. Nope. He didn't. And now, Parsons is fouled. Tell him the rule, Mike. Over it's you have to be in the backcourt, which he never was. Physically, he no, yeah. no. He leapt in the air from the front court, grabbed the ball while he was in the backcourt, but his feet never hit the ground. It's possession, possession. And feet, feet. First one by Parsons is good. He's got seven, and it's 33-25. The lead's cut to eight. I can see Dante out there. A 13-3 Greensburg-Salem run. Make it 14-3. 33-26. Yikes. Hey, if, they, if they win this game, it just about clinches things up for them. Price all the way in, gets the follow. Yeah. So that's I think that's one a way good, to do it. I think it's a good no call myself. Yeah. And now uh, Kevin Trout comes down hurt. No, I'm sorry, that's Ryan Thomas. Yeah. 12. It's a man's game in there sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Christian McGowan for three. In and out. Rebound to Johnny. Let's go. Three on Wants two. Wants to push it to Tonelli. All the way in. That's up and under and scores. That's the pace we need to play. Timeout. Like. Lions as Craig Mankins wants to slow it down at 339. It's Highlands 37. Greensburg Salem 26. Tension High School seniors, you can learn the skills you need to start a career in the high demand field of health care in less than a year. Pittsburgh's need a skilled health care workers. Career Training Academy offers half day or evening class to suit your needs. Serving the AK Valley for over 35 years, CTA offers programs in medical or dental assisting, medical billing and coding, and our new phlebotomy technician program. Visit us on the web at careerta.edu or stop at our new location, Hillcrest Plaza in Lower Borough. Enrolling now, new starts every month. Call Career Training Academy today at 724-337-1000. That's Career Training Academy. Mike, it's also an interesting paper today. Amazon and a few other big companies, they're getting together. Guess what they're going to do? They want to fix health care. Yeah. Because they know so much about health care. No, they're going to offer their own health care. They're going to come together. Right. What do you mean? They're going to they're hire the doctors? Well, basically, instead of going to the middleman, the Aetna's of the world, and all the other ones. So they're, they're going to try to freeze out the insurance companies is what exactly. you're saying. Exactly. Think that's about a, it. That's Why? a great yeah. idea. I, Dean, I've said this a thousand times. If we really get off the subject, we don't have a health care problem in this country. We have a health insurance problem. Yeah. Now I'm going to get off my sofa. Yeah. Well, but if you can eliminate those guys, guess what? And they said it'll be, they'll get better care right. and cheaper care for their employees. That's a win-win. Betcha. You betcha. All right, let's get back to work here, leading 37-26. But they're going to need more health care workers when it comes down to Marvell McGowan out of the corner. Out top to Oberdorf. Mankins. Corner. McGowan. Christian air ball. Oh, nice pass. But Thomas missed it. He had a gift. He lost it. And then Christian McGowan stole the ball but carried it out of bounds. Good hustle. But they got something with Christian McGowan, too, don't they? Yeah, he's quick. He's a freshman. Jalen Price, number 13, back in. Runs in the family. Jalen's put together like he plays football. Yep. Well, he's only a sophomore, too. We saw him playing as a freshman last year out of Greensburg. 3-2 now, Mike. Drops to a 1-2-1. One, one. Cochran. Tanelli. Back to Cochran. Graham's passing it around the perimeter right now. It's probably not going to get you very far. Of course, they do have an 11-point lead, so it's not the worst thing. Tanelli's wide open for three. It's off the rim. Rebound. McGowan. That's a shot you have to hit against that zone, Mike. Yeah. It's going to be there. And Christian's hit two of those tonight. Marvell all the way to the basket. High off the glass. It goes wow. in and he's fouled. Holy smokes. What body control that time, Mike. He knew he had to take it up high. And he gets John in and made a third foul. I mean, how? if, if he had thrown that any higher off the glass, it would have went over the backboard. Amazing body control. Great shot. Johnny picks up his third. He goes to the bench with seven points. McGowan goes to the line, trying to get his 15th. 2.44 remaining third quarter. And McGowan, 15. Now, that six-point game he had here, the first game we saw him, was the aberration. 37-29. He leads all scorers to now he leads us with eight. They cut it to eight for the second time. Rams have led by as many as 18 twice. Cochran now to Tonelli right side. Kiske will be here Friday night for senior night. They're Kis beating Franklin Regional at the end of one. What, four to two? I have no idea, but I'll take it. Here's Tonelli. Three ball. Down. There he goes. He's three for four. And that's the one we have to hit. He did it there. Averaging 6.6. .6. He's got 11, and the Rams lead it 40 to 29. With pressure backcourt against McGowan. And that's the thing about Storm, Mike. You can set your pressure up there. Ooh. Oh, now we have a foul, offensive foul. They're going to call it on Ryan Thomas for knocking Tonelli down. Thomas is basically saying, uh, what do they do? Thomas is asking Gary Dixon exactly what was that. <laughs> Gary Dixon, that's a good for Jake too. He just walked away, and it confused him a little bit because Craig gave him a little, uh, gave him the business there a little bit. Carl on Tonelli, <laughs> it was foul on Tonelli by Thomas. He brings his golf etiquette to the to the uh, sidelines. He's not crazy like so many of these people we see. He gets his point across though. There's Mello, settles home nicely. He's got seven off the bench, best six man in the business, 42-29. 
Oberdor double team right in front of us. Like, ripped through it nicely. Got it over to Thomas, and now McGowan takes it. One and a half left third quarter. That's what you have to do, Mike. You have to step through that. He did. McGowan. Vermillas all the way through. Blocked. He blocked that saw one. it coming. Yep. Freeman with the block. And now Isaac Winton comes in, number 40. And Dante Parsons also. Coach Dachinski Hall and I, two shooters in. 115 remaining, third quarter. Highlands 42, Greensburg, Salem 29. And that's trying to win their 11th straight here at home. Going back to last year. The last team to beat them here was Kiski. Oberdorf. How about that? With a runner. It's no good. Rebound loose. Winton had it blocked by Freeman. Oh, that's two on that trip for Romello alone. Yep. Got up there really big. Oh, high dribble by Luke. Got away with it. Boy, he kept Uses it down the screen. Like, yep. Stops. Pops. Scores. Yeah. That's a two, and it's 44-29. It was a high dribble, but he didn't try to advance. Uh oh, oh Romello with a steal. It's loose. Uh, McGowan just job. pushed it out of there and got it to Parsons at 40 seconds. Rams by 15 again. McGowan's not used to having the ball taken away from him. Mike. Parsons all the way to the basket. Blocked from behind by Ursig. Boy, Romello's doing a great job on McGowan, Mike. That's twice he's taken him to the floor. 31 seconds left of the third quarter. Arrow belongs to the Golden Rams this time. Golden Lions with the basketball. I walked in, Mike, I thought we were wearing brown uniform. I like, the, they have the yellow. Uh, Highlands has gone to the Vegas gold. That was back in the Bill, Bill Heasley days as uh, yep. AD. They had gone to the Vegas gold instead of that yellow. Lions will keep it here at 24 seconds. Steve and I were talking at Montour the other day about the football game. Remember, they lost at the end on the personal foul. Oh, yeah. I'm, Skirk's watching. He remembers that. <laughs> exactly right. He was out there that day, I think. Dr. Ryan Braun got a penalty. There was just a phantom uh, celebration call and a touchdown. Rams missed the extra point. And that was all she wrote. And we had gotten our call at halftime to the big leagues. So. Yeah, we did. We were going to be heading to Blackhawk. Two, six seconds now. Parsons lost it. Here's Cochran. Four, three, plenty of time. All the way to Tonelli. Lays it in at the buzzer. That's knowing how much time's left. That's yeah, a lifetime, Great Mike. play by yep. Cochran. Three seconds is a lifetime, and they proved it there. Tonelli so now leads us with 13 points. And the Rams. Rams jump up to a 46-29 lead, finish it on a 9-1 run. Nice job by them, 16 points in the quarter. Gives me a chance to say that many companies can give you car insurance quotes, but only Nationwide can back it up with dedicated licensed professionals and superior claim service. Mel and John at Boucher to see want to help you release some of that stress involved with insuring those new teen drivers. Ask about the Nationwide Insurance Young Driver Discount. When you compare, no one beats Nationwide rates for young drivers. Call your hometown Nationwide agents, John and Mel at 724-224-4300 and let them help you to choose the coverage that's right for your family. Evening and Saturday hours for your convenience. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 9 to 7. Wednesday and Friday, 9 to 6. Saturday is 9 to 1. Remember, the AK Valley, the Boucher's and Nationwide are on your side. Dean, the uh, mascots are having a shoot-off. Oh, how about this? Very interesting. And uh, who's winning? Uh, neither. None of them can make it. Let's see here. It's been pretty bad. It's, uh, uh, no, 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 it's... Let the Ram have one. Oh, the Ram doesn't get another chance. I'll tell you what, by the looks of it, I think they could have let them out there all night and neither of them would have made one. Well, the Ram didn't have any gloves. I thought that was a definite. I thought that was an advantage. <laughs> That's the kind of the way I was looking at it. Speaking of gloves and no gloves, Mike, Bud Grant never let his players wear gloves in Minnesota. Did you hear Dean, about that? They wouldn't use heated benches. He was tough. He wouldn't allow heated benches and they couldn't wear capes. He went out there in zero temperature in a golf shirt once. And he was over 90. Yeah. This was two years ago in the playoff game. We love Bud Grant. Signorella. Oh, Luke oh, bit oh, too oh. oh, good job by Luke. Drives all the way in. Needs, oh, what a dish to Ersig. A little sleight of hand and the dish. Luke shows he can play point guard too. Dropped a nice dime there. Rams with their biggest lead, 48-29, and now Parsons goes in. Got Signorella to commit the, the foul. foul. 
Rams on an 11 1 run of their own right now, leading it 48 29. It's almost like the switch is going on and off tonight, don't you think? Yep. Stuck some, sometimes, but definitely going on. Parsons hits the first. We were talking about Craig Mankins at Hannistown. Of course, opened in 1919 as a nine hole course, but they converted it to 18 in 1996. Redesigned by Dan Schlegel out of Maryland. It's now 6,700 yards from the tips, par 70. Good luck. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't been there, Mike, as much as I go. 10 for now for Parsons. 48-31. And to the corner, Ooh. Signorella. Oh, what a good job. And now Ersic, what's the call? Timeout, Highlands. Time out. The argument would be that they hide and set possession, and I guess the answer was yes. Yes. Okay, get some trivia for us. Is it time? Yep, Mike, it's the annual Super Bowl trivia question. Oh, good. And the question is, as always, who from the Big 33 game, Ohio versus Pennsylvania, oh. is playing in the Super Bowl? Are there how many? Is it there one? is one from our area. Wow. Think about the Eagles roster. Think about the yeah, I'm trying to think of who's New England uh, roster. By the way, Big 33 represented in all 52 Super that is That is, which is unbelievable. Yep. Um, he's from the WKL. Okay. Can you tell me which team he's on? He's a Philadelphia Eagle. He's an Eagle. Who is an Eagle from the WPIL? How about his high school? Central Catholic. Wow. I'm probably going to... How about his college? I don't know. Um, that's all the hints I have for you. Penn okay. State. Jeff. Penn State or they went to Jeff. Central Cap. Who's on Penn State that's on the Eagles? I don't know. Dante I don't pay much attention to the Eagles. I know Carson Wentz and Nick Foles. Come on. Too easy. Here's Cochran. Everybody out there. Next break. I'll everybody out there you. screaming the answer. Signorella's three ball is short, and the rebound comes to Mankins. Off of McGowan's hand. Oh, what a great job he did to control the ball and get around Signorella. Dish it off to Parsons for three. Missed it. Nice did a pass. great job. He got his own, and McGowan laid it in. Parsons just got around everybody. Well, you see how much they miss him. He's got the other night. Yeah. yeah. 48-33, 15-point game. Oh, Luke got pushed. No call, and Greensburg salem gets it back. Here's Mankins. Oh, Tanelli took it away, but they say he got arm. I ain't seen worse out there tonight. <laughs> 11 That's, turnovers apiece. That's two on Christian. Christian with 13 points tonight. That's a career high for him. He's the Rams' leading scorer tonight. Stefan Wisniewski. Wisniewski. How about that? There you go. Penn State. I believe he starts. He's moved two, around. Right? I think he used to be on the Raiders. That's probably why I missed that one. Mankins missed the first. He'll get the second. There are also two guys on New England, Mike, that played for Ohio, but we don't count that. Now we're just looking for the Whippeal guys. That's an amazing statistic. Yeah. 52 Super Bowls. Mankins nails the second. He's got four, and it's 48-34. Highlands by 14. Now a 5-0 run for the Lions. Again, Mankins only a sophomore. His dad is the coach. Great. Here comes pressure from Greensburg. Tanelli. Turn to run. Three on two. Here we go. Here's Freeman. Oh! But those were all show points. Yeah. Wow. 50 to 36. And he gets up there so fast, you're not sure if he's dunking it or not. Yeah, you, you Johnny. We Christian McGowan for three, and it's good. His first one of the game. And it's 50 to 37. Romello tried to get it to Ersic. Sean chases it down in the corner. Goes baseline all the way through with a kiss. He was determined, Mike, and all of a sudden he has 10 points. Averaging 13. 15 point Highlands lead, six minutes left. Here's Parsons. Parsons goes in, dumps it off. It's loose. Yeah, he's What's trying the call? to make sure he stays packed there. Let's get the call. I thought it might be Dante, and he it was is. just grabbing on for dear life, which I can't blame him. You had a nice talk with him before the game. Yes, it's, he's going to be fine. It's like anything else, Mike, you just have to play through it and uh, don't let it affect your game. He has him here tonight. He's got 10 double figures tonight. And perfect from the line. Oh, four, here's four. Christ. Oh, Three on uh, two again. This time it's Ersig. He, oh, he thought about it. He couldn't. Had it, lost it. Salem knocked it out of bounds. Oh. I thought uh, that was off trout, but I'm... 
Mr. Dixon's a lot closer than... Oh, they fixed it. Okay. That was good. No, it's not. It, Trout knocked it out. Yeah. And Sasha's saying, help him. He's, he's a lot closer than I am, but I saw Trout knock it out. And Tyler's saying the same thing. 15-point Highlands lead. Here's McGowan. Now they go nice baseline, and Ursi kicked it out of bounds. There's Sean is about a millimeter short, Mike. Right? Getting it down. There were six hands above the rim, though. You know? Yes. <laughs> All of which were ours. Yeah, that's true. Huh? <laughs> 5.33 remaining, and the Rams lead at 52.37. Rams have allowed only 43 a game in January. Boy, that looked like a travel, but no whistle. So here's Mankins to reset things for the Lions. Oberdorf is open for 23. It's off the front rim, and Freeman has the rebound. Rams doing a great job handling the ball, too, lately, Mike. The push wide open, Ursic underneath, and Mankins fouled him. I think they're going to call a floor foul here. That'll be on the floor. Mm -hmm. That is Not correct. Shooting foul. And Mankins picks up his third at the 5 11 mark. He'll get it. Oh, now McGowan will sit down. Christian McGowan. No, don't worry. Marvell's not sitting down. I don't think that's happening. Loop it into Christ. Back outside to Nelly, who's had a big night. Right hand. Or right and they hand. weave it. Cochran stops and pops off the rim. Freeman tipped it, kicked it out. Christ saved it behind the back, but he gave it right to Parsons. Now they work it back to Overdorf. There's another three. It's off the rim, and Kreiss has it. Kreiss needs help. Take it all the way himself and lays it in. Coast, coast to coast. coast. Like butter on toast. Johnny now with 10. 54-37. Mike, you really don't like your big dribble, but when they can do that, I got no problem. Told you he's a stretch four. Yeah. There's a timeout by Craig Mack. It's at 4.33 to go. Well, if you've been putting off getting that much-needed work done around the house, maybe you have a leaky roof, you want to remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, or anything you got going on, let the pros at Beanie Home Renovations have your home looking like new with over 100 years of combined experience. Owner Brian E. and his crew at Beanie guarantee that your job will be completed on time exactly the way you want it. Customer service is their top priority. You can call Brian today at 724-351-3172. I got eyes on him. He'll pick up his phone right now. He's right across from us. Yep. I'll give you a free estimate or find them on Facebook for money-saving offers. That's Beanie Home Renovation, where the B is always busy. Mike, don't forget, Saturday, the Tom Callender Memorial Basketball Tournament going to be here all day. Uh, starts at 8 o'clock. And that's here at the high school? High school and middle school. Okay. Two courts going at the high school, one at the middle school. We're going to play 47 games in one day. Can you believe that? And I'll be helping out with the clock. I'm going to run down to the varsity game and come back and try to finish. But again, it's going to help Selena and the five kids. And uh, not into just basketball that day, Mike. There's going to be plenty of food, Chinese auction. So a lot of people said, how can I help? Show up Saturday, buy some food, get a good meal, get into Chinese auctions, and help the calendar family. Great cost. Yeah. Marvell McGowan with the basketball. Four and a half left. Highlands leads it by 17. McGowan for three. It's blocked by Ersic. Here's Christ pushing Here it. Ersic drives, lays, and scores, one. and draws the foul. Ersic now with a dozen, and they have no answer for the bigs. No. By the way, I got to coach Tommy today. He was on that sixth grade team, Tommy Callender, and uh, he's going to be an up-and-coming player. We got... Uh, Braden Foster on that team. And you know me with names, unfortunately. I can't remember everybody's name. They're doing a pretty good job. But I'll tell you what, uh, had some kids that uh, really knew what they were doing on a sixth grade team. I was impressed. 13 for Ersic. Highlands with their biggest lead now, 20. 57-37. Parsons gave up his dribble. Now Mankins. Off to McGowan, and here he comes, all the way to the basket. He, my goodness, he's human. Rebound Ersic. Oh, Ma Ed, how about McGowan swatting it out of there, and the Lions get it back. No lips. They loop it in. This is Oberdorf. Here comes Marvell with a spin move, and they're going to call a little nickel dimer on Romello at 401. For Romello, that's his second. Well, McGowan's a handful to keep in front of you, Mike. 
And, and I think the idea what Stosh is doing tonight, it, rotating guys around on him, nobody gets worn out watching him the whole night because that's a chore. Well, he tried to get the layup. Now they kick it back out. Thomas, jumper no good. Rebound, Cochran. Highlands with the ball, 20-point lead, 3.50 to go. Rams, of course, have already clinched the playoff spot, but they're just trying to continue to win to have a shot at the section title. Tied for first right now. And this is a week, Mike, when you work on you, not them. Because, again, Kissy coming in with only one win. Hanfield not having that strong a team in his non-conference. Oh, Cochran with a nice up and under move, and he'll shoot a couple at 331. What I like, Mike, is when one of our guys takes a fall, two of our guys runs over and picks him up. And I like what we did tonight with the press, the one 2 2 so Luke Cochran will shoot a couple. 67% from the line. He's our number one guy from that uh, distance. In and out. Not going to be here with our foul shooting again tonight, Mike. We missed two, four, five foul shots. You don't have any more commercials? <laughs> no, we're out. Here. There you go. Just, yeah, Luke. just mention the word. Just mention the word ad. Luke in with five. And the Rams lead by 21. I'd tell Courtney to start the bus, but then no one could run the camera. So I'm just, I'm insinuating that. There you go. Ooh, metaf baby. Courtney metaphorically start the there bus. How's go. that? Well, Mel's going to pick up his third. Two shots. So this is Marvell McGowan at the line to shoot a couple. He's only been in the line once tonight, Mike. The way he penetrates, you think it'd be more. He's got 17 points. <laughs> First one is good. Coach Stoss standing at the top of the ball. <laughs> you know you're up there when you get in the top of the ball. Second one is also good. Again, he comes in averaging 26 a game, 24 games, excuse me, which is ninth in the WPL in scoring. That's a good number. Yeah. 317 remaining. Johnny looking for a runner. And Mankins knocks it out of bounds, so the Rams will try it again. Hey, he's going to do that. That's all he's looking for. You can let him catch it there. He doesn't want to dribble up there. I'm not going to tell him. Hey, please. <laughs> 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 that was funny. Tell what they said. <laughs> he said he doesn't want it right there. He, goes, he doesn't want to dribble from there. He goes, Romello even tell you. And Romello's walking right by him when he said it. That's it's beautiful. Our sick baseline. Got a man up in the air. And, and he one. scores and draws the foul. Now, he got Trout up in the air. And then he was done. And 15 now for Ersig. And the Rams lead it 60-39. to 39. Romello is doing a decent job to Mike to put the ball on the floor. Let's give him credit. Yeah, he does. Well, they all handle it pretty well, really. Yep. Ersig in and out. Mellow tip. Now going, oh, Price. Yes. yes. Like a three crack set. You talk about playing above the rim. Three guys just did right there. There you go. Yep. 62-39. Why make a foul shot when you can do that instead? Nice job by Johnny on defense. Price threw it off the hands of Trout, but it's saved by Mankins. Less than three minutes remaining. McGowan around Christ. Yes. 21 for him. He is so smooth. Here's Cochran. Oh, All the way trip. in. Missed it. Christ, yes. Johnny. He is taking over, Mike. We talked in the pregame about the sophomores starting to take and make their contribution here, and they did tonight. 14 for Johnny. We've got three in double figures, and Romello's breathing all over. Again, Tonelli, 13 is a career high. And he's got the basketball. We said it Sunday that Christian needed to get it going. He did. Cochran, three ball, no. Rebound, Ersic overjumped it. And here comes Jalen Price. How many career highs have we had this year, Mike? Well, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Well, you figure the seniors didn't play that much. I mean, Ersic probably played more than anyone else. But, I mean, Sig, Norella, and, uh, and Tonelli really didn't get a ton of playing time the last few years. So, What was Tonelli's career high coming in? It was 12. Uh, and that would have been... 12 against South Moreland, which would have been here right after uh, the holidays. So he's going to get a score sheet. I would give a score sheet out to the career high guys. Cochran looking for a clear out. Two minutes left, 64 31. Baseline. Ersig works it out to Kreis. Johnny says no thank you, and he'll just dribble some time off. And here he comes to the basket. Oh, kick it's kicked by yep. McGowan, and the Rams will get the basketball at 142. 
And Gallon kind of looked like, I shinned it, I didn't kick it. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> Think about this. There's a minute 42 to go. Last week game, Tuesday, against Franklin Regional, we still had an hour to be here. Wow. Well, we found out they were told to foul every time we had the ball. Yeah. And they literally took the orders. That's right. They listened to their coach. <laughs> Here's Cochran. Almost knocked away by Christian McGowan. And what's the call? They're going to say over and back. Yeah, he had a foot back there. Now they call the over and back. Got to clean up the turnovers, Mike. 13 tonight, 11 for Greensburg. And coach get an explanation over there. Now, one of the things you can question, did the Greensburg guy touch the ball in between? Right, well, then that wipes it off, obviously, but and we don't know. No. Yep. <laughs> and coach has questioned the rule itself again. Because yeah. everybody, everybody has their own interpretation. I think you have a... Best when you I say. looked it up and got it out yeah. of the rule book, but where the ball you know, is, where the you're right. Is. Oh, look at Johnny Sky up there. We go. Get it. We got Here two. comes Signorella. Lee Fee going miss it on purpose. He oh, is. Yeah. And oh, Mello can't get it to go. And the rebound to Winton. Yep, that's exactly what he did. He passed it off the backboard. He's done that a lot this year. Parsons got shut off. Christian McGowan in the paint. Winton off the rim, no good. Rebound, Parsons tipped it. Price saved it, lost it out of bounds. Rather than throw it in and give them an easy basket, he just right, carried it out. Idea. Smart thing to do, 101 to, do to go, yeah. How athletic though, Mike, huh? And Sig, how smart he is. He knew he had a Romello trail, and he said, I'll just put it up there. And that's a talent in itself to put it high enough that it doesn't hit the rim. Yeah. Parsons. Probably harder to miss that shot than to make it, Mike. He really tried to get it to Winton. It went off his hands out of bounds, and the Rams will have it. At 55 seconds to go, leading by 23. Now, Daniel Timmons and Corey Myers ready to check back in for Islands. Danny still has that left pinky tape. He's left-handed, Mike. Different from the, bro the other brothers? Yeah. We he know Braden through it, righty. <laughs> Price. Signorella has it now. Lions are going to foul Sig at Actually, 51 time seconds. Out. Oh, it's timeout. Yep. All right. Get a chance, Mike, to talk about the other games of the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic. Uh, Seneca Valley beat Seton in the cell after we were done, 50-39. to 39. Pine Rich and beat our friend Mark Jewell in Ambridge, 81-64. By the way, the Rich get richer. Their big guy that was hurt in the football season, the big 6'7", 260-pound kid, back in the starting lineup for Pine Rich, and that makes him a force in six. Say. Vincentia beat Char Valley, Mike, and they're a single-way team, 62-52. Char's a little down this year. Who's not down as Mars? Mars beat no. John's old team, Swickley Academy, 67-48. All the games are in double digits on Sunday. It was, uh, as you yeah. said, who is interested? That's always the question. That's always the question, and um, you want to you wonder about that. It's a great event they run there. It's first class all the way. Beautiful um, place. Mark it was great. Um, Getting some scores here. See if we have anything for you. That will help. We help need us. that kissy score, Mike. If they can hang on, I don't think that's going to happen. Dude. I can win. <laughs> they let it the end of one. They did. See if we can find. That would make that trip to Gateway a little easier. Uh -oh. Bryce Freeman, Romello. And he is putting on a show. 66 Yikes. to 41. And now McGowan. And he is making it look easy. He'll find too. a way to get his. That was the old thunder dunk, the two hands above the rim. Yeah. Price, Freeman, Timmons. Put it on the floor, and Winton got a hand on it. We got a foul. We're going to get Danny. That'll put them in the one on one. Yeah, I've got nothing further on the uh, Franklin Regional game. Their 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 uh, Twitter's not usually just post a final, um, so that's what I got. How about Ramella here tonight, Mike? What a shit. And he's gone into double figures. Now we have four players in double figures. Ursig with 15, Price and Tanelli with 13 each, and Freeman with 11. So this is Isaac Wynn. His first point. Come on, guys. Come on, Sal. And we have substitutions for the Rams. Don Pacey is in and Caleb Bradishak. Come on, 
Zach Galdo, number 11, comes 22. in for the point lead. That's good. It was a struggle at times. That's off, but it's taken off. I believe that's Timmy Simpkins in there for the Lions. We haven't seen him yet. No, number Danny, 32. Danny Timmons gets a quick. He does. Uh, Mike, I believe the one star, uh, Rylan Christ, must be ill or something. Right. Didn't see him here this evening, didn't play at all. If Timmy's in the game, then he's not. Oh, and he wrong. banks it up. Late night banking hours in Harrison Township for Timmy Simpkins. There you go. This first. So I'm playing a JV game, Mike. He's a big kid. Sure is. They have some young. They start four sophomores. Remember that. That you must be on that purpose. One. That's right. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. That's, that is legal. Yeah, 66 46. I was telling them that's why they put the backboard there. They trap Signorella in the corner, and what's the call? Highlands gets a timeout at 19 seconds. This one will just not end. Craig is looking like, how <laughs> can you call it? Well, he's he, a lot. He threw the ball, well, except he threw the ball off a leg, and nobody had it. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> that makes it very difficult, but. Good call. Well, you never know when Stosh called it, when the referee decided to make the call, and then and then what happened after doesn't really matter, does it? No. Nope. Maybe they saw the aftermath. Well, I like what I see here tonight, Mike, with our big guys. We bang the boards, and again, when we get that one three ones done, I'd like to see a double low post. I would really like to put the big guys, Johnny and Sean, down on the blocks, and boy, the way Romello moves the ball, you could really get those three guys together. Romello, I guess I'm going to put him up for six man a year this year. There's no doubt about it. Yes. Tell me anybody in WPL to come off the bench, slam three on you, and uh, averages double figures off the bench. 10.2. Yep. Yeah. That went up tonight. He's got that Play 11 some here. Defense. Friday night again, Kiski will be here. Other games, Gateway will be at Greensburg-Salem. A big game for the Lions, of course. Franklin Regional and Armstrong. That's one that could be, that if I'm uh, Steve Scorpion, I might be a little concerned about. I can imagine what his demeanor is going to be like when he goes to the land of time for God. Beautiful school, though. Oh, beautiful. They're going to go deep. So get that old quarterback in him. No, he gets it into Pacey. Tom Myers. Four court all the way to the basket. Dumps it off. Radishak up. Scores. Radishak gets his, too. Three seconds to go now, 68 to 46. That one's off the back rim, took a peek, it won't go, and that'll do it. Highlands holds on for a 22-point victory. Highlands 68, the Greensburg-Salem Lions 46. They win their 11th straight here on their home floor. A little choppy at times, Mike, but mission accomplished. On to Kiski on Friday, senior night. Don't forget to get here a little bit early for the ceremony. Thanks to Courtney upstairs for jumping in the saddle. Once again, that final score here tonight, Highlands 68 and Greensburg-Salem 46 for the Dean. Mike Choma. This is Mike Pavlik. So long, everybody.